if I loved you till the end of time. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you've been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those conversations that began with when we're married <laughs> and continued with I will and you will and we will, all those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. Someone like you, you've changed up my direction, but sometimes I still question how I was worth the love of someone like you. The symbolic vows you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised? and hoped and dreamed, well I meant every word, all of it. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. But you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly, you'll say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life and things between you will never be quite the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Oh, nice. To you both, keep your marriage full of love. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. Uh, and whenever you're right, shut up. Because marriage, is a three ringed circus. Engagement ring, wedding ring, and suffering. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand and raise your glasses and, and join me in drinking a toast for the health, health and happiness of the bride and groom, Carl, Alice and Carl. Never be loved by someone like you. You've changed up my direction, but sometimes I still question how I was worth the love of someone like you. Talking about effort, I'd like to propose a toast to the person who has to put up with me, Alice. I know you'll hate this, but honestly, you look simply breathtaking this evening. I've been searching my whole life for you. I really do feel like, feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world to be able to finally call you my wife. After everything we've been through together, honestly, it feels like you've been my wife for years. <laughs> but now, to be able to wear this ring, it's an honour. Yes, The mountains we've climbed together, both literally and metaphorically speaking, I know have made us stronger as a couple and since you brought our two beautiful little boys to the world as parents. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. So I'd like to pose a toast to the beautiful bride, to Alice. <laughs> I 
Kyle Jared Dalbroy. I, Kyle Jared Dalbroy. Take you, Alice Patricia Bucket. Take you, Alice Patricia Bucket. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Alice, I promise to care for you. Alice, I promise to care for you. Remain true to you. Remain true to you. And above all. And above all. To love and respect you always. To love and respect you always. I, Alice Patricia Bucket. I, Alice Patricia Bucket. Take you, Kyle Jared Dalbroy. Take you, Kyle Jared Dalbroy. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Kyle, I promise to care for you. Kyle, I promise to care for you. Remain true to you. Remain true to you. And above all. And above all. To love and respect you always. To love and respect you always. Mr. and Mrs. Dalbroy. is a day you will always remember, the greatest in anyone's life. You'll start off the day just two people in love and end it as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of a journey, with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there will be times when you both disagree, then you'll surely be awaited by pleasure. You have heard many words of advice in the past when the secret of marriage were spoken but you know that the answers lie hidden inside when the bond of true love lies unbroken. So live happy forever as lovers and friends. It's the dawn of new life for you as you stand there together with love in your eyes from the moment you whisper I do. And with luck, all your hopes and your dreams can be real. May success find its way to your hearts. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is the day it all starts. I couldn't have wished for a more beautiful heart in Alice, bulletproof and busily. You guys have had more than your fair share of adversity shown, thrown at you really lately, but together you push through it. It must be that inner strength you both gained with challenges you set yourself climbing Kilimanjaro, where Kyle had an ulterior motive. <laughs> And Alice pushing herself to the limit in the London Art Marathon, you are an inspiration to us. So whenever you are feeling that it's getting all too much, look at those photos and climbing that mountain and know you will get there. So Kyle, we have accepted that this is your new home now. And have comfort knowing you are happy. You've always said, if our kids are happy, we're happy. With this you've created history. The family tree is now spread in the new French. Yeah. We wish you both, Cole and Alice, many, many years of love, happiness and good health. All our love. To Cole and Alice.